Hey everyone, this is Alonzo. Um, just want to do a kind of a quick, small Bible study that I did recently. Um, so I had like, so I titled it, and with my weird sense of imagination, I titled it, Do You See What I See? Do you see what I see? Or it's, it's like saying, do we truly believe what God says um, in the word, in his word, in the Bible, and even in our lives? during our prayer time and while we're um, um, reading his word, do we truly believe what God says? Or in, in essence, he's saying or trying to see, do you see what I see? So what made me thought about it was uh, going back to uh, Numbers chapter 13. Uh, talking about the children of Israel, um, the Lord told Moses to uh, send one person from the twelve, one person from the twelve tribes, uh, to spy out the land of Canaan, because the Lord says they He's going to give them the land, right? He's going to give them the land, and um, uh, um, you will see later on, and they gave the report that they brought back fruit, and they say it all is flowing with milk and honey, and and and. There's a lot of people in the land. There are even giants in the land. So they gave a report, gave that report. But Caleb, what I liked about this story was Caleb had that supernatural uh, uh, vision, or, or I say our faith. He used his faith sense. You know, of course, with our natural eyes, we see what we see in front of us. Face value, right? But with our faith, we see things in the supernatural. We see things in a different light. We see things according to what God sees. And we're hoping the best for any situation we're in. Um, we want to eventually gain not just, uh, uh, um, not we're not, not only rely on from our perspective, but we want to rely on what God sees. We want to rely on God's perspective of things. So what Caleb said um, down on uh, Numbers chapter 13, verses 30. And uh, I'm reading from the ESV version. It says, But Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and occupy it, for we are well able to overcome it. See, with our faith, uh, things can happen with our supernatural eyes. We want to see things of how God sees them. You know, God called us many things in his word in his word we're the head and not the tail we're above and not beneath we are ambassador ambassadors we are heirs of his you know we are a, a a holy nation a royal priesthood a peculiar people and many other things that god had proclaimed us to be um in his word so one thing that God uh, wants us to, or what God is testing to see, if we come in agreement with that, if we come in alignment with that, if we want to, uh, uh, for basically, let's say, call it like it is, forfeit what we see, and, and gain the perspective of what He sees in us. See, with Caleb, he saw the possible. He saw that we can take the land. He saw that they can take Canaan. Uh, um, Cause why? Because one, he had faith that God will take care of him. He has strategy. God has the strategy. Had the he mapped out everything for our victory. See, with Christ in Christ, we have victory. Okay, uh, in Christ, he already gained the victory on the cross. Not only when he died on the cross, but when he got up from the grave. That's when we gained the victory. Amen. But unfortunately, in that story, the 10 other spies did not see the same way Caleb did. And basically saying, how in the world, I don't know what Caleb's talking about. He's loony. He's crazy. I don't know what he's talking about. We can't take the land because there's giants over there. And there's people stronger than us over there. So I don't know what he's talking about. He's just, he just doing his crazy thing. And then eventually, if you read to verse 14, they even got even more reckless. They even talk reckless to God. One thing you don't do, you don't talk reckless to God. And I'll tell you why a little later. 
But um, a little bit later down to 14, Joshua and Caleb stood up and said, y'all, y'all, we have the Lord on our side. We have the Lord on our side. He he has, and I'm paraphrasing here, he, he, he has brought us through a lot of things, y'all. Through Egypt, through Red Sea. Um, I know that's not just saying in, in that passage, but the Lord, if the Lord is with us, y'all, let me stick to the passage. If the Lord with us, we got it, y'all. The Lord is with us. I know we can take the land. The Lord's already promised us the land. But unfortunately, the people still, you know, still complaining, still rumbling, all that stuff. The Lord was like, you know what? I'm done. I can't do nothing with you. Um, so in his word, it says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. It is impossible for us that if we don't believe, that we're not going to see what God sees. We're not going to see the better on the other side of what we're going through. We're not going to see our problems are being fixed. We're not going to see uh, uh, things um, being resolved if we don't put our faith in it. If we don't put, if we just rely on our natural eyes, we got to uh, depend on our faith to see things better. We got to have faith in Christ to see things in a better light. So unfortunately, with the well, unfortunately for the other ten spies and they the uh, people that were uh, with them, they did not get the prom They did not see the promised land. Why? Because they simply did not believe. And not only that, they had to travel in the wilderness for another forty years. Unfortunately, you know, not unfortunately, but it is important for us to believe what God says. It's important for us to get the perspective of what God sees in us and what God called us to be. Now, also, Caleb and Joshua um, did obtain the promise because they did believe. And as you, we read in Joshua, uh, in the book of Joshua, uh, eventually they rose up as leaders of the new children of Israel. The children of Israel that was uh, remain alive um, from that. So basically, the children that did not make it, they were twenty and up, and they did not believe. They were not able to see the kingdom. Did not not kingdom. I'm sorry. They not was not able to see the promised land. Um, one thing about our faith journey, everybody's not gonna come with us. Everybody's not gonna be with us on our faith journey. Everybody's not gonna see what what God has promised us. Everybody's not going to understand what God is telling us to do. It's important for us to hold on to what God, God has promised us and also to be obedient to what God is doing in our lives. So do you see what I see? Our prayer should be, Lord, gain, help me get in your perspective. Lord, help me, give me your perspective on things, God. Lord, Lord, your ways are higher than my ways. Your thoughts are higher than my thoughts, God. Lord, I want to obtain what you're seeing um, as we're going through this life, as we're going through uh, facing our problems. Lord, help me to see that you can handle my problems. Help me to see that my problem is not bigger than you, God. Our issues, our addictions, our Struggles are not bigger than you, God. Lord, well, help me to gain your perspective today. God bless y'all. If you like this, please like, share, and um, hopefully this will bless you, and hopefully you will apply it in your everyday life. Thanks. God bless you.